Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Bunny Silhouette Baby Blanket, which is the blanket that you see here uh, in the picture of the written pattern. I also have my uh, finished product here. I'll try and zoom out a little bit for you there. So this is the Bunny Silhouette Blanket and here you can see that in the bottom right hand corner um, I have included a silhouette of a bunny uh, this blanket is worked in the Heartland yarn by Lion Brand and it is a worsted weight acrylic yarn 100% acrylic I feel like it has great uh, weight and a great kind of sheen to it um, so that's the reason why I chose uh, this yarn for this particular project this blanket is worked using a simple moss stitch pattern. The bunny is worked in single crochet stitches and then you have a bit of a color work uh, here in the edging, which I will also go over with you. Now the written pattern, if you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, uh, you will also find a copy of the chart. Let me just bring it up here for you. So the chart for the bunny is also there for you as well if you prefer to work with, uh, with charts than a simple written pattern. Today in this tutorial I am going to focus mostly on how to work this bunny. I will give you the instructions verbally for the rest of the blanket and then we're going to work this bunny together as well as a little bit of the edging. I'm not going to work the entire pattern uh, in this video. Uh, just give you the tools that you need in order to complete this baby blanket. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. I am so happy that, you that you're here. Let's uh, grab our hook and our yarn and let's get started. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm using this Heartland um, yarn by Lion Brand. Uh, you can use any worsted weight yarn that uh, that you desire. Um, this one is a 100% acrylic bl blend. As far as your materials are concerned, you're going to need three colors. Your color A, which is this uh, tan color here that I used, you're going to need um, approximately three balls of the Heartland yarn or about uh, 700 yards of this yarn of your color A. Your color B you're going to need uh, less than one ball so about a hundred yards or so um, 150 yards of your color B and I've used this dark brown okay so one ball of uh, your darker brown. Then you're also going to need a very small amount of white yarn for the tail. Uh, and really it's only a couple meters. I just grabbed some white yarn that I had laying around the house, some scrap yarn, and uh, that will work uh, quite well. Now um, you're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. Now to begin this blanket pattern, you're going to start with your color A. Once again, that is my tan color that I'm using here. You're going to start by making a slip knot and you're going to chain 124 chains. Now today because I am focusing mostly on the working the bunny silhouette for you in this video, I'm only going to be chaining 16 chains. But if you're working the entire blanket, you're going to want by to start by chaining 124 chain stitches. For row one, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook, so count in one, two, 
single crochet in that second chain and in each chain all the way across. So you are going to have 123 single crochet stitches. At the end of your row, you are going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. Now for row two, we're going to begin some of that moss stitch design. You're going to start by skipping that first stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next stitch single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet. Continue that all the way across your work where you're going to place one final single crochet stitch in your last, uh, your last stitch. At the end of row two, you are going to chain two and turn your work. Now for row three, you're going to skip that first single crochet and you're going to work your next single crochet into the chain one space. So skip that first single crochet and then single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the chain one space. This is where you're going to get that moss uh, stitch which creates kind of a woven look. So chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the chain one space. Repeat that all the way across your work. When you come to your final chain two that is where you are going to work your final single crochet stitch. Always remember to work a single crochet into that chain two, that starting chain two. When you come to the end of that row, you're going to uh, chain two and turn your work. Now for the next two rows, for rows four and five, you are simply going to repeat row three. So skip the first single crochet and single crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, skip the single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space. So repeat that for a total of two more rows. And that will bring you to row five. Always remember once again to single crochet in that beginning chain two. Now at the end of row five, uh, we are going to chain two. And you're going to turn your work and we're now going to start working that bunny silhouette. If you haven't already and you find it easier to work with a chart, head on over to my blog, richtextureshocrochet.com. There you'll find the f uh, entire free written pattern uh, there for you, but you will also find a copy of this chart. So if you find it easier again to work a chart, then uh, you might want to have that there alongside with you. But we're going to start working this bunny and in the design you're going to work it from the bottom up to the top. And you're going to start by working in this right hand corner. Okay, and this is um, where you have the bottom of your bunny here. This is row six. Okay, so for row six, you're going to begin working some of that moss stitch. You're going to skip the first single crochet. You're going to single crochet in the next chain one space, and you're going to repeat that for a total of five times. And then um, at the end of the five times, you're going to switch to your color B. To switch to your color B, you're going to insert your hook. You're going to start by working a single crochet. So insert your hook into the next space. And you want to change your color of the stitch before you want to use it. 
So using your color A, work your final stitch in the color A um, by bringing up a loop. And then instead of finishing your stitch uh, with that color A, you're actually going to drop it. You're going to pick up your color B and you're going to place it on your hook. And then you're going to complete that single crochet stitch with your color B. And now you are all set to go. Now as far as continuing on, you can do a couple of things. You can simply drop and then pick up the yarn uh, and work over top of your yarn as you're working or if you prefer you can uh, fasten off your yarn each time and then weave in your ends at the, uh, at the end. It's really up to you. At this point, I am just going to be working over top of the unused yarn. So I'm just going to carry it across on the back and I'm going to work over top of it. So once you've switched over to your color B, with color B you're going to single crochet in each of the next six stitches and chain one space. So in the next single crochet, this is my first single crochet stitch, so there's one in the chain one space, there's two, three, four, five, and then six. Now this is my final single crochet in my color B, so I'm going to want to switch back to my color A. I'm going to insert my hook and drop a loop. I'm going to drop that color B, pick up my color A once more, place it on my hook and complete my stitch. And then I'm ready to go. I'm then going to continue working in the moss stitch pattern. So next I have to chain one in my new color single crochet in the next chain one space. You're going to continue that moss stitch pattern now in your color A all the way across to the end, remembering to single crochet in your final chain two space. And then that will bring you uh, to the end of your row six. You're going to chain two and turn your work. For row seven, you're going to start by working your moss stitch. So single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, and then uh, single crochet in the next chain one space. You're going to do that all the way across to the stitch prior to uh, where your bunny is down below. Um, and then once you come to that stitch, you're going to want to switch to your color B. So, um, Again, it's up to you as far as how you would like to do it. I prefer to clip my ends each time and then weave them in at the end. I found it looks a little bit cleaner. But I am going to um, work back here one stitch. I'm going to complete my single crochet stitch with my new color B. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to work a single crochet into that next chain one space. And I want to work three uh, single crochet stitches um, in my color B. So there's two and there's three. I am now going to switch over to my color C. So insert your hook, draw up a loop. You're going to drop your yarn. I'm, I always like to drop my yarn on the same side every time so that I have a clean front uh, and a distinguished back at the end. So then you're going to add your color C onto your hook, just a little bit of white yarn. And you're going to work two single crochet stitches in that color C. So there's one. And, and I should be working over top here. And two. You're going to switch back to your color B. Continue working on and you're going to work three more single crochet stitches in your color B. There's two and three. With this final stitch you're going to switch back to your color A and you're going to continue the moss stitch all the way across. So single crochet in each chain one space, and then chain one, 
and single crochet in the chain one space all the way across to your final chain two space where you will work your final single crochet. Okay, you're then going to chain two and turn your work. Now for row eight, you're going to chain two, you're going to single crochet into that uh, first chain one space. And you're actually going to um, work that moss stitch total of five times and then you're going to change to your color B. So the stitch before you want your color B to start, you're going to uh, drop your color A, pick up your color B, and then you're going to work four single crochet stitches in your color B. On the fourth stitch, you're going to switch to your color C. You're going to work two stitches, two single crochet stitches in your color C, changing back to your color B at the uh, in that second stitch. And then you can actually completely fasten off your color B if you haven't already, because you're finished working with that color B. You only need a little bit for the tail. You're then going to work four more uh, single crochet stitches in your color B. On that fourth stitch, drop your color B and then you're going to pick up your color A and work that moss stitch pattern all the way to the end of your blanket. Remember to place your final single crochet stitch in that chain two. I'm just going to cut that off so you can see I have quite a few ends here at the end, on the back side but I am going to go back and weave all those in so it will look clean on the finished product. Row 9 you are going to uh, chain 2 and turn your work. You're then going to skip that first single crochet stitch work a single crochet in your chain one space and you're going to do that uh, all the way across for uh, until you reach the bunny silhouette again you're then going to drop your color A and you're going to pick up your color B and you're going to work a total of 10 single crochet stitches in your color B all the way across so starting at that same spot as your body is before, you're going to work one, two, three, four. And you can see I'm just working right over top of the color A so that I can carry it along with me. Seven. Eight, 9 and 10 on that 10th stitch you're going to drop your color A or uh, color B sorry and pick up your color A then complete the moss stitch pattern all the way across working in that final chain 2 space chain 2 and then turn your work For row 10, you are going to work your moss stitch all the way across, working uh, into uh, the one space in from uh, the edge of your bunny here. So you're going to work one extra single crochet stitch. You're going to work moss stitch uh, four times and then single crochet in the next stitch. When you single crochet into the next stitch, you're going to change to your color B. You're then going to single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. On 
on that eighth stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A, and then complete the moss stitch all the way across your blanket. I should single crochet in the next stitch there, chain one, and then complete your moss stitch all the way across, remembering to work in that final chain two space. And you can see the bottom of your bunny coming out quite nicely. At the end of row 10, you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. Now again, you're going to work your moss stitch um, for a total of, let me see here, you're going, you're going to work your moss stitch across to the stitch above where the bunny silhouette begins in the row below and then you're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch and then switch to your color B. So work your moss stitch all the way across, chain one, single crochet in that next stitch but at, this, at the end of the stitch switch to your color B. You are now going to single crochet in each of the next six stitches. On the sixth stitch, switch to your color B, or back to your color A, and work the moss stitch all the way across. At the end of row 11, chain 2 and turn your work. For row 12, you are going to skip that first stitch, single crochet in the next, uh, and chain 1 5 times. So single crochet, chain 1, skip 1, and uh, work it 5 times. Then you're going to change to color B. So work one more single crochet stitch there, but change to color B. You're going to single crochet in each of the next four stitches. On that fourth stitch, switch back to your color A, and then work the moss stitch in uh, each of the, the in the rest of the row all the way down to the end of your blanket. For row 13, you're going to chain two, turn your work. You're going to work your moss stitch all the way across to the stitch before where your bunny silhouette begins. So here I'm going to single crochet in this last chain one space. I'm at the stitch before where the silhouette begins. I'm going to pick up my color B and then I'm going to work six single crochet stitches all the way across. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. On that sixth stitch, switch back to your color A and work the moss stitch to the end of your row.
at the end of the row, chain two, and turn your work. For row 14, you are going to skip that first single crochet, work your moss stitch all the way across, uh, or four times, and then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch, switching to your color B as you do so. So this is the stitch prior to where your bunny silhouette begins. Switch to your color B. You're then going to work eight single crochet stitches. We are now working on the head of our bunny. On your eighth stitch, switch back to your color A and work the moss stitch all the way across to the end of your row. At the end of your row, chain two and turn your work. Row 15, you are going to work your moss stitch all the way across to the edge of your bunny silhouette. And that si single crochet before the bunny silhouette begins, you're going to uh, pick up your color B. And once again, single crochet eight stitches all the way across in your color B. On your eighth stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A. And once you switch back to your color A, you're going to work the moss stitch pattern all the way across to the end of your row. Chain two and turn your work. For row 16, you're going to work uh, your moss stitch all the way across to the uh, stitch, uh, the next stitch in on your belly bunny silhouette there. So work it on the next stitch in, pick up your color B, and you're then going to work um, six single crochet stitches in your color B. And I should be carrying my yarn all the way across here. <laughs> there we go. There's five and six. On that sixth stitch, I'm going to pick up my color A and I'm going to work the moss stitch pattern all the way across. Actually, I have a chain one here first. There we go. Once you have worked it all the way across, chain two and turn your work. For row 17, you're going to work your moss stitch across until the uh, stitch the second stitch in there on your bunny head. And then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch and you're going to pick up your color B. With your color B you're going to work four single crochet stitches. On that fourth stitch, drop your color A, pick up your, or color B, sorry, and pick up your color A, and work the moss stitch all the way across. Chain 
chain two, and turn your work. We're now going to start working on the ears of our bunny. So you're going to work your moss stitch all the way across uh, to the stitch before where the top of your head of the bunny is. You're going to pick up the, um, oh, sorry. So I have to start here in the chain one. There we go. You're going to work in that stitch prior to where the top of the head starts and you're going to work six single crochet stitches in your color B. And then switch back to your color A in that sixth stitch. Work the moss stitch all the way across to the end of your row. chain two and turn your work. You're now going to work your moss stitch all the way across uh, to the stitch prior to uh, where it begins. You're then going to work in that stitch prior to the where the bunny begins in the row below. You're going to work three single crochet stitches in your color B. On that third stitch you're going to switch to your color A. Work two single crochet stitches in your color A. On that second stitch, switch back to your color B. And you're going to work three single crochet stitches in color B. And then switch back to your color A. Work the moss stitch pattern all the way across to the end of your row working your final single crochet in that chain two space. Chain two and turn your work. Now work your moss stitch all the way across to the stitch prior to where your bunny silhouette begins. You're then going to pick up your color B You're going to work two single crochet stitches in your color B. In that second switch uh, stitch, switch back to your color A. Work four single crochet stitches in your color A. In that fourth one, switch back to your color B, and you're going to work two final stitches in your color B. At the end of this stitch, you can, um, or in the second stitch, you can switch back to your color A, and then you can fasten off your color B because you, we are now finished working with it. Work the moss stitch pattern all the way across to the end of your row. So at the end of your bunny, so when you hit the top of these ears, you will uh, have re completed rows uh, up to row 21. Then for rows 22, and uh, I did to 116, or until your blanket measures approximately 26 inches. You're simply going to work the moss stitch uh, all into in color A. So you've chained two, you're going to turn your work and you're going to work that moss stitch pattern. Uh, so skip the next single crochet, uh, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, skip the next stitch, 
single crochet in the next chain one skip the next single crochet and then single crochet in the next stitch or chain one space so when you're working over top of your bunny you're not going to have those chain one spaces to work in you're just going to be working in the single crochet stitches so just repeat that moss stitch pattern all the way across to the end of your work and then single crochet in that final chain two space chain two turn your work and work the moss stitch pattern once again. So do that until your blanket measures approximately 26 inches. It will be about 26 by 26 um, by the end of your moss stitch work. Once it, uh, once you have reached the 26 inches or have come to 116 rows, if you prefer to count that way, you're going to fasten off your work and get ready to work the edging of your blanket. Now for your edging you will have fastened off your color A. You're going to take your color B and in the top right hand corner with the right side of your work facing you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. You're then going to single crochet in the same stitch as joining and in each chain one space and stitch all the way across the top of your work again I'm just going to be working um, my edging around my little swatch so yours will look slightly different of course working the entire blanket and your stitch counts will be different. When you come to your corner stitch, which will be that chain two space, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into that corner. That's going to bring you along your rough side. You're now going to work 118 single crochet stitches all the way along that side. Now if you find you have to work uh, more or less stitches, that's okay. Just remember how many stitches you work because you're going to want to work the same number of stitches on the other side just to make sure that it's even. So on my blanket I worked 118 single crochet stitches all the way across. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. And then once again, work one single crochet stitch in each single crochet and chain one space all along the bottom of your blanket. When you come to your corner stitch once again, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into that corner stitch and then work 118 stitches once again all the way across or again if you change that number, um, just work the same number of stitches all the way along your rough edge. going to work three single crochet stitches in that corner stitch. So work the same number of single crochet stitches all the way along your rough edge and then when you come back to your first corner there that you started in, you're going to work a final two single crochet stitches into that uh, corner, that final corner, and then you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into that first stitch. So I'm working my final two single crochet stitches in that first corner stitch and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Now 
Now for round two, I'm going to continue working with my color B. So I'm just going to take a moment to trim off these tails here. So I'm going to continue working with my color B. I'm going to chain one. Now we're going to do a little bit more color work. We're going to start by working one half double crochet in the same, uh, in the same stitch. In that half double crochet stitch though, you're going to switch to your color A. So you're going to drop your first loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to drop your color B and then pick up your color A and then switch um, to your color A. You're then going to work a half double crochet with your color A in the next stitch. Uh, with that though, you're going to want to switch back to your color B. So essentially you're going to be working one half double crochet stitch in, um, in the color A, followed by one half double crochet stitch in the color B. At first it feels a little awkward always dropping yarn and picking up uh, your new yarn but you'll soon kind of get into your own groove as you work it. So you're working one half double crochet in color A, one half double crochet in color B. You're going to do that all the way across the top of your work and I'm just carrying uh, the yarn that's not in use. I'm just carrying it across all the way as I go here. And I'm weaving in my end as I go. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to keep that um, alternating pattern so one uh, color A one color B and you're going to work three half double crochet stitches into that very corner stitch to my corner I'm going to find my corner stitch there so I'm going to work one more in the color A and then in my corner stitch I'm going to work three half double crochet stitches again I'm going to keep alternating though so there's one in my color B one in my color A all in the same stitch and then one in my color B in the same stitch and that's going to bring me along to the opposite side. Then I'm going to continue working that pattern all the way across the next end. When I come to uh, each of the corners I'm going to repeat that process working three half double crochet stitches into the corner stitch. I'll just pull back here so you can see what it looks like. There we go. So you can see that we have this color work forming here. Uh, as we go, you're going to continue that all the way around, working three half double crochet stitches in each corner, uh, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of your first stitch. So at your final corner, you've worked your final two half double crochet stitches into that final corner stitch. You're then going to uh, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and you can fasten off your color A. You're now finished working with your color A. Now for round three with your color B, you are going to chain one you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. In each corner stitch you're going to work three single crochet stitches as you did before um, but other than that single crochet in each half double crochet stitch all the way around when you come back uh, working three in the corners when you come back to that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch 
into that first corner stitch. And that's all there is to working this bunny uh, silhouette baby blanket. Thank you so much for joining me uh, and crocheting along. Until next time, happy crocheting and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.